Okay, so today we're going to be focusing on versions of a word. So on your word maps, when it says versions of the word, what I mean by that is what are the related forms? So um, these are words related to that word, but maybe they have a prefix or a suffix, or maybe they're lacking a prefix or a suffix. It's a form of that word that's a different part of speech, like the noun version of the word or the verb version of the word. So this time I came to dictionary.com and typed in swim. And if you look here, it says swim, verb, and here are some versions of the word, swam, swum, swimming. Those are still verbs, but uh, it depends on, on tenses. But then if you scroll down a little bit more, you will see there are related forms. So there's also swimmable, which is an adjective, swimmer, a noun, non-swimmer. So all of these are great examples that you could include on your word map if you wanted to. Of course, um, you can find these in a regular dictionary also. You don't have to look online. Whenever you look up a word in the dictionary, it'll show you different versions of the word that you can just copy. I like using the internet because I find it often gives me um, a little bit more than what I find in a paper dictionary. But um, we use what we have available to us and make the best of it. So again, swim is a word that we're all pretty familiar with. The other word that we were looking at last time was the word obvious. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing for the word obvious. Um, let's just make this a little bit bigger. I'm not sure about the quality of this video, if you're going to be able to see much of this. But for the word obvious, if I type in it up here, we're going to get, now if you see, obvious has less forms, but there are some related forms. So these are some examples that I would want to include on my word map if this were the word that I had chosen. Again, the point of doing this is so that we understand words a little bit better and we understand how to use them. And these words that you're picking from your reading should be words that you're not using already. Maybe you've heard them before, maybe you kind of know what they mean, but by the end of this year, I want you using more words that you were not comfortable using at the beginning of this year. Uh, your secret code word so that I know you watched this video is the word giggling. Again, your secret code word is giggling. Go ahead and write that in your homework planner. That way I'll know you watched the video.